My name is Dimitri Beck. I'm the director of photography of Polka. We have a magazine, a gallery and a website and we are also on social networks. I'm here to attend the World Press Photo 2018 and, uh, and I was talking with Enrico Stefanelli to talk about the photo of the year and uh, it's a very powerful picture, definitely very visual, very graphic, very strong let's say even heartbreaking and um, what is strange is you see this man on fire running you don't know where but also at the same time after looking all around this ball of fire you see there is a detail on the wall which is a, a gun a gun and at the, at the end or at the beginning of the gun there is a word one word written in Spanish called paz peace and that's an amazing confrontation, which is, you know, what is on that wall, that word, powerful word, and what's going on. And it's a man who is part of a demonstration against the power, against the government, the president. And there is these clashes of, you know, ideas that are all summarized in this one single picture. Very powerful. Is it the photo of the year? Does this picture reflect what happened all year, year long, that's a question, and that will be debate, but in the end it's not the question to say yes or no. What is important is why people say yes and why people say no about choosing that picture. Everybody has a reason to, to choose or not to choose that picture because there are some uh, five other pictures, two about um, the Battle of Mosul by Ivor Prickett, one about the Rohingya, and uh, some others and each of the single picture like also this portrait of a, a, a girl who has been kidnapped by Boko Haram groups and um, all these single images are powerful and tell a story tell something very deep and profound and important about what happened last year but this one make the reach the top uh, among this jury because maybe as I said, and as uh, the pre president of the jury this year told me, this one at least, on that picture, the pre person presented is not a victim. It's like they are fighting, they exist, they are moving, they are like survivors. And that was the positive aspect they wanted to highlight. And of course, that is really, we definitely can understand that and appreciate that. While in some other cases, one is uh, a victim of the Boko Haram, another one are dead people. There is on another picture some dead people that are lying on the floor, which is absolutely very graphic, very powerful, but terrible at the same time. Look, this year, this man on fire, you know, probably tells very much about what was going on this year, let's say, past year, 2017, over the years. At Polka, we have a magazine, a gallery, a photo gallery, uh, in central Paris and also a website and we are present on social networks and what is important for us is, is to promote photojournalism, social and documentary photography to, to tell stories, to tell visual stories. When we are not, our goal is not only to, to tell the stories that are available around but also is to assign photographers to tell stories that we see we would like to tell to look for the information with them thanks to them thanks to their commitment and also we as you know it's part of our um, endeavor and commitment to our readers our community is also to buy exclusive stories that we don't see or never been published in the print in France or maybe sometimes by chance around the world. Our, our point of view is really to attract, grab the attention with strong pictures. Strong pictures doesn't mean only the ones who are graphic. Strong pictures, are, they are the ones that catch your eyes, catch your attention, and you are curious to know what is behind and to understand the story behind the picture or behind a series of pictures and a reportage. And it's what we are doing daily because we are also online and coming out every three months with a, with a magazine. And, um, and we have always, our saying is every picture has a story.